Mad Gusman Subaru and Appleton. Taking a look at what they have on the log. So most uh, car lots have uh, an overflow of mid-size SUVs. So the Subaru is uh, maybe not an SUV, maybe it is an SUV. Station wagon, a crossover, depends on what you want to call it. So they have a little bit different uh, clientele. See, the prices are a little better. Depends on what you're looking for. Oh, well, I see no sale tags. Understanding that they have been very popular. The uh, Wilderness Series has really taken off. Around 40,000 with a lot of options. Looks like somebody's mowing long here. Out of wilderness. A little more ground clearance, a little less miles per gallon. 43,000. My experience with Subarus is uh, definitely better mileage and uh, definitely better uh, four wheel uh, drive system. You can get through more with the Subaru than you can a lot of other brands. It's been uh, I like the Subarus I've had. They're the all one, I guess, but wouldn't mind getting a wilderness. I've been really impressed with what the Subaru can go through, though. Outback is a nice size. You could have a little more room in the back seat, but uh, admittedly, it's pretty rare that I have somebody in the back seat. Well, other than a dog. Most of the time the back seats folded down. Decent selection of outbacks. A little higher end, but I think everything else is even higher yet. It looks like they're mostly 2025s. I was just trying to see what model year they've got sitting here. So the tinted window. Yeah, 2025. I think they're a nice interior. Like the sunroof. Touring XT, though. I mean, this is the highest end right here. Yeah, 45. Carbon interior. Alright, the rest of them are way on the other side. I'm gonna break off here. See if I can record some on the other side.